Hello everybody, welcome back to Domtastic XL. As you can see by the title, and then you know what we're talking about. I know, so I'm sorry guys, hold on one second. Alright you guys, so yeah, as you can see by the title, what we'll be talking about today. Um, Just try to tune the little noise out in the background. Um, My husband Jay is downstairs playing the game. And um, yeah, so this video, I'm sorry you guys, this video here is a pre or pre-recorded video no i'm sorry it's a pre-reloaded video um or attempted reloaded video of what i tried to reload um so i was trying to reload a video earlier and i was just talking to y'all about what was going on then i did another video and i don't know what's up with my app but those videos unfortunately it's just not working so i had to reload this video and that's why i'm sitting and in a different spot and just recording it on a whole different computer so as you guys can see by the title, like I said, what we'll be talking about today, um, it'll be nail artists. What, what's the difference between nail artists versus, did I say that? Yes, nail artists versus actual nail techs. I think I'm going to switch it, you guys, and go in the closet because it's kind of loud, a little louder than I thought it would be. All right, you guys, I hope that's a little bit better. And then, actually, my class is a little bit brighter. But I just, you know, I know, like, I had to clear off my little couch a little bit. I got to fold up my clean laundry. And I've been a little procrastinating with that, guys. So, yeah, I, I, I'll fold some. And then, you know, you got to wash laundry for the week. So, you know, you're kind of starting back over, yeah, with the nails and everything. But, yeah, I was recording the video um, I did tell you guys that probably next time I came to you guys, I would have my hair done. So, you know, I did that. No day, la you know, no hair day. I didn't put any lashes on just because of the style that I have, as you guys see. But that's not what this video is about. Um, if you guys do want to see, like, more, like, the nails and stuff. Actually, this nail here, because you guys know I make custom press-ons. So, this nail right here is actually a replacement nail from a, another set I had. But, if you guys want to see the original set, because, you know, everything else is fine. But, this nail just got... It's a long story. It just kind of broke. <laughs> and, it was crazy how it broke, because they pretty sturdy. So, yeah. Sorry, you guys. Like I said, don't mind the noise. Um, I live on the main street. I think I said that before. So, you're going to hear a little traffic. Um, I, It's not... A simple room in my house that it's no noise so you know it's gonna be a little noise in everywhere and you know that's just how it is you know I live um you know I live uh, in New York so it's kind of it's kind of busy it's just busy if you guys don't know that but yeah you guys so like I said the difference between um a nail t uh, nail text and nail artist so to so you, uh, you guys because I always get that or you know people you know they you know they don't they may not know the difference um I didn't know the difference for a long time but now that I've been doing nails or been practicing my craft my passion and stuff for as long as I have pretty much as long as I've been in the healthcare field which has been seven going on eight years wow surprisingly wow yeah so um I just keep licking my lips but I'm like I don't have any all my lip gloss and everything is downstairs. I usually have some around, but or in a purse or something like that. But no, I guess not. So excuse my lips if they looking a little. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, you guys. So the difference between a uh, nail tech, a nail tech, a nail. So okay, so a nail tech, they are gonna have a certificate. You know, they went to school for that. You know, they, they, yeah, they earned their certificate. Basically, they earned that. They, they, you know, they don't just, you know, they, or, or they probably have started off at some point as a self, um, self-taught nail tech, you know, meaning they taught themselves how to do it. That's me. I'm, I'm more of a self-taught. I didn't go to school for this, you guys, but, um, if you guys, uh, have come over from my, my old channel or if you guys I've been I've said that in one of my older videos I am not and that's hence why too um I don't deal with the acrylic nails anymore you know that's another that's a little reason why I don't deal with the acrylic nails anymore um I just don't do it myself you know it's getting kind of expensive and ridiculous I feel like you know like my press-ons I can wear them again you know take them off I, I well I got a couple sets obviously but I can change them switch them go if I don't want to wear one you know if I want to just wear my regular nails today you know I don't feel like the nails on today could you ever you guys ever wear nails this is for people who wear nails have you ever worn nails you know you might have your set on it's nothing wrong with the set you like the set but you know like in this this is acrylic nail, whereas I'm pe telling about people that 
they were those acrylic nails. I was one people, I didn't always do the press-ons, you know, I didn't see the point of them, they weren't permanent, but then the more money I was spending on actual acrylic sets being done, I'm spending like $60, $70 every week and a half because my sets weren't lasting, you know, I'm like, you know, this is adding up and, you know, like this was also before I started wearing, you know, having locks or, I'm sorry, before I had locks. You know, so I was wearing weave and everything too. So you figure just sixty, seventy dollars on my nails, and if I got my toes done, that's another forty. And um, I used to get my eyebrows, you know, waxed. So that was ten or five or ten, depending on where I went or who, what they charged. And you know, I, I would buy the lashes out of the store, out of the hair store. But still, you know, like all of that, that's like one fifty and stuff like that, and you know, I didn't realize how much money I was spending now that I'm older, I'm like, yo, that's ridiculous, and um, I'm just glad I do nails and, and lashes and all this stuff that I like, I can do that kind of myself, like my hair, I styled it myself, and I gotten so many, like literally so many compliments, I was going in the store, and the lady, lady just, th I'm talking to my husband, the lady just threw me off guard, I was like, your hair is gorgeous, oh my gosh, who did your hair, and I'm just like, I did, you know, because she just threw me off guard. Oh, why, that and oh, your lashes and, you know, just kind of treating us. And I'm like, oh, you know, I'm kind of socially awkward. And put, if you see me in person, I'm socially awkward, you know, especially, I don't know if I come off socially awkward a little bit on the camera to you guys, but I'm socially awkward. I'm naturally shy. You know, I had to open myself up to doing stuff like YouTube or having a platform or Instagram or, or Etsy and stuff like that. I had to open myself up and really branch out for that. Um, I was cold, y'all. So, but yes, a nail tech, they are licensed. They got their license, you know, their back. So, you know, like basically if you, if it comes to having to sue them or like legal, you know, um, like, yeah, anything legal, you know, like the nail, that, that license, hopefully a cover the nail tech and, um, you know, like. You depend on the services. Like, let's say, you know, like, some of that acrylic that they're using out here is either fake or it's just not good acrylic. So, um, you know, people be having funguses. You figure you go to the nail salon. I'm not trying to put any nail techs out there. Every nail tech, like, more nail techs at home may not do this because they have the time to kind of clean their brushes and, you know, clean and actually disinfect their supplies. But the nail, you know, those hood, you know, nail salons and stuff where you go in and it's like six or seven people y'all all way in you know they get you in and stuff like that getting you in getting you out half you know making sure your stuff is dry and you still spend, spending like 60 70 dollars and stuff like that on your sets and you know these prices just going up and up and up ridiculously just because oh they're acrylic nails and they, they're gonna last a little bit longer yeah but you're not realizing the problem yeah, unless they last but if you realize you're spending this money and you know like especially when you wash your hands a lot and stuff like that that water that gets under nail underneath the nails that creates like water residue with the press-ons that's very minimal you really don't have that because you had the chance of taking them off letting your nails breathe so that is the whole you know point with with, with that um well that was just to tie up that little thing um and then i think i got off subject a little bit but I just want to tell you why, you know, just a little bit of why press-ons are better, you know, why these acrylic nail salons are kind of getting, you know, not really maybe getting the business that they want and stuff like that because they're not doing the right things and stuff like you They're just not, you know, taking their time and doing the right practice and stuff that they're supposed to do, the, the nail care and um, health care aspect of that and, you know, the hand hygiene, hand care, you know, they're rushing, rushing, rushing just to make the quick, easy money. You might as well save yourself that money and just press your nails on yourself. Cre Custom press on sets like this and stuff can be made with acrylic um, reinforced for sturdiness. Um, my nail says I offer custom press on sets up to 10 inches currently right now. Um, I actually just did a nail set that was 9 inches. Um, yeah, so like... And that gets to reinforce with sturdiness because you figure the length, you know, especially the longer the length, you know, that, you know, it's 
well, everybody probably don't, I don't, can't speak for everybody, but I know I put acrylic on mine. So, I'm um, like, this inch right here, this length right here is optional. Everybody don't feel the need, because I know these nails are pretty sturdy right here. Um, I do healthcare field and stuff like and everything. I just put a couple coats, a base coat on mine, like Builder Gel base coat on mine, um, my, my own is what I mean, or like even like the short nails, like the very short natural ones, I'll put a couple coats of base coat on, put in my LED lamp, and that's sturdy, like they're not bendy and stuff like that, they're sturdy, um, especially if you're putting rhinestones and all that stuff on top too, that's adding, you know, it's building up the nail as well, so, um, like they're pretty sturdy to me. Um, I usually don't have problems with my, you know, getting problems like oh my sturdiness of the nails or the nails lasting. Of course, occasionally rhinestones will come on off and stuff like that, guys. So yeah, um, yeah, of course, okay, yeah, occasionally rhinestones come off the press ons and stuff. So you know, or or ch a charm might come off a little, you know, here or there, unless they're using acrylic. But most people, you know, because the acrylic can, you know, some, you know, just depends. Like the little tiny stones like this, most people won't put acrylic. They just put like the glue or like some um nail glue or something like that just to kind of you know so it looks more seamless and flush versus the acrylic you put the acrylic on you have a chance of getting that on the stones and it's it's harder to wipe off than just getting a little glue on the stone and oh i could take you know like a alcohol wipe or something to wipe it off before it dries you know that acrylic yeah so you know, and, and acrylic is more for bigger charms anyways, like this Kowie charm, I would probably put acrylic under there so that way I'm, you know, not having a chance of their charms coming off when I, you know, when I um, make, when I, sorry, when I'm personalizing the order. There's not a chance really of a stone coming off. You know, when you're making a set, you obviously want to be sturdy. So that to me is my only problem with the nail salons. Like that's the real big reason why I stopped going. Otherwise, I love salons, you guys. But um, so that's yeah, nail techs. They would have, they would like I said, have a license and stuff like that. But I'm just against nail salons. Is basically why I gave you guys this big schmeal. I, every since I've been doing nails myself, I don't know what they do now. I just know that they're hiking up the prices more and more. And I heard that they don't even use, they're using straight gel polish. It's no more regular polish or anything. And they just hiking the prices up and up and up. My mother, she was another one too. We, she wore nails for years. My mother always wore nails. She's worn nails for like over 20 something years, 30 something years. Um, She did hair and everything. So, you know, like she was up with the trends, you know, like, and I grew up like in nails and hair and stuff too but now especially after the you know COVID and recession it just seemed like you know obviously everybody want to make money but that's all it seemed like it is and they just hiking up the prices you know like you they don't care about the quality necessarily that you they giving you they're hiking up the prices charge you 60 70 dollars for supposedly acrylic set that's supposed to last two two and a half weeks maybe three weeks it just depends but definitely two weeks you know, your, your nails shouldn't be coming off. I can understand that with press-ons, you know, it popping off. It's a press-on. But uh, acrylic set, that was my problem. They will pop off. So, hold on, you guys, one second. My kitten is at the door. Let me see if she wants to say hi. All right, you guys, I'm sorry. I just wanted to take a, you know, so we ain't just being so serious in this video. But here is Soka once again. Say hi, Soka. She don't, I, you know, like she's in the camera when she wants to be, uh, so, she, but I did, I don't know if I told you guys, she has a little, there she goes. She's not too happy right now, y'all. She want to go downstairs anyways. All right, mama. You go ahead. No, go ahead. Hold on. You guys, because, um, I don't want her to go, uh, all over in this closet, but. All right, you guys, but yeah, so, and then, like I said, no artists, you know, they more likely are self-taught, like, they def, you know, no artists are artists, like, you know, they, they have not went to school and gotten there, you know, that's, this is my definition, this is what I think. They haven't went to school for this, you know, like they just kind of taught themselves, you know, everything that they know is because they taught themselves. They watch YouTube videos, they, they practice, 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 you know, they might have had an inspiration, a dream of owning a business, or they might have just started it because they wanted to do their own nails. That's a nail artist, you know, you see them, they might do nails just as good as a nail tech. 
but they don't have their certificate. That's the only difference. They may sell nails on Etsy like how I do, and that's what I consider myself a nail artist, um, a lash artist. I don't consider myself a lash tech, a nail tech. You know, I didn't go to school for any of that. Everything I've learned, I've taught myself. I've, you know, just paid attention of, you know, just the use of my mom doing hair and dealing with hair and cosmetics and stuff like that. Um, I didn't use the right word. That wasn't the right word for, um, but I can't think of it right now, guys, and I don't want the video to be too overly long. Um, but yes, guys, so that's just simply to me the difference. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the note, my nail set. Um, I am like, it's still cute, but. The temporary nail that I had to put there, unfortunately, you know, obviously it's not the set, but, you know, kind of throws off the set. But for the actual original set, you guys, like I said, these press on, so I got so many sets that I was able to put this in. Nobody noticed that it didn't come with the set, but I noticed, obviously, I noticed that it wasn't, it was more of a butterfly, like, um, background like this, but it was just clear and rhinestones and stuff. I noticed. But, all right, you guys, um... And that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about my set, though. If you like this set, or, you know, also go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Everything will be um, in the description below for both my business and my YouTube Instagram, you guys. And um, follow uh, Ahsoka. She has just started, I just started her new um, Instagram, I'm sorry, her new YouTube channel, you guys. She currently has no subscribers, you know, but a couple views. Um, She got, like, four videos up there. If you guys like cats, that was my kitten. If you guys like cats or kittens, cute little videos. Follow on her on both her little Instagram pages as well as her own um, YouTube channel. Yes, we are trying to run everybody up over here. My husband, go ahead and follow him. I just started his um cook um his uh, chef uh, page on Instagram. And so go ahead and follow him if you guys like cooking videos or know somebody that like cooking videos and pigs and stuff like that he definitely cooks some good food he cook a lot of different foods and stuff like that he even bake a little bit so if you guys like stuff like that go ahead and follow him on instagram um his link will be in the description below and like i said go ahead and check out my website if you guys did not know i'm doing a um a another sale if you guys missed my spring forever sale you know, that's unfortunately done. Thank you guys all for who participated in it, though. It's my um, sales are definitely, I exceeded my sales um, more than what I expected. You know, I just gave myself a little budget, a little $50 budget. I'm still a small business, and I definitely exceeded that. Like, I exceeded that three times more than what I, you know, what I expected. So, that was dope. Um, I'm trying to get myself a goal for May, but I don't know. May kind of starting off a little. If you guys, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. You know, it's a part of the small business journey. And, um, but yeah, um, these so sparkly, y'all. This hand, like, I love this, the whole original hand over here. This, they so sparkly. But, um, I did these like maybe a day and like two days ago a day yeah two days ago because i think i did it the same day i did my hair no the day after i did my hair i don't know and that was like two days two days ago i don't know i don't know you guys but um yeah um yeah so basically i may i'm just trying to just uh i'm just winging it out basically you guys um i kind of you know I pretty much put the same goal 50 to 100 and, you know, we'll just see, you know, every month don't always be what you expect for it to be. But I am doing a Mother's Day sale up through, um, up until uh, this coming Monday, uh, May 9th. So, uh, yeah, so up until May 9th, I'll be doing Mother's Day sale. Everything in my shop, I believe, including the no charts and stuff like that, accessories, no charts. I believe all of that might be included, but if not, like everything will tell you guys and everything I've, I made the description very detailed, you guys. So that way you can, um, you know, I'm sorry, Ooh, I'm getting distracted, kind of like caught on what I'm trying to say. Everything description um, on, on my Etsy site and stuff like that on my website will be very descriptive so you guys it's very descriptive detail so you know it shouldn't be any confusion but if you guys need any clarification just reach out to me through etsy and i will respond back um i will also leave my business um yeah my best business gmail and the 
link below too so if you guys have purchased or would like to purchase or just are interested serious inquiries only you guys please because you will be blocked so serious inquiries only for my business immigrant or just anything associated with domtastic xl or any of the pages that i list in my description please do not come with anything other than serious inquiries or concerns only so um, but you guys, yes, everything be description below. Um, please read all the details if you do plan on purchasing or have looked at my site before purchasing anything. That way you get a clear, you haven't paid anything and, you know, nobody's misled or, you know, something like that. Um, if you have questions, ask your questions first, you know, before you purchase. Um, I try to be very clear on that. So, like I said, there's no confusion, no anything, because I do not offer any refunds or exchanges, except for wholesale orders, you know, vendor, like, orders, stuff like that. That's the only thing that I offer. Um, I am trying to, I don't know yet, you guys, don't quote me, but I try, I'm try. i trying to work on this little project right now, and the deadline is kind of close, so I will let you guys, guys know if I was able to make that deadline, but I will... Um, let you guys see like in a, oh, oh, I have my phone. Let you guys see um what I'm trying to work on. Like like yeah, I literally just found just like stumbled upon it kind of, you know, me and Jay was just walking and oh, I hate this phone sometimes. Come on, phone. I hate when my phone I'm trying to clear out of an app and it's still it's trying to put me in the app that I'm trying to clear out of. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to see and then me and Jay oh I took pictures in the park so it's like a black business thing it's a, like a black business event so you know obviously if it's not of interest, in, interest to you guys you can click off this video if you made it to this far you know whatever if it's not of interest but it's just like a local event here in my hometown and stuff where I'm from and um yeah I'm gonna show you guys right now I am covering the bottom because obviously that's where my hometown is. So I will not be showing y'all that, obviously, where I live. So, But that's it. It's a legacy little thing, and I'll tell y'all more dates. It is, um, yeah, like just like a, you know, you're supporting local businesses and vendors and stuff like that. And um, it's close to me, and um, it is supposed to be, what date is it again? Oh, it's supposed to be Saturdays. I guess every Saturday starting of May 20th, like that week of May 20th. And it's going to be ending, ending September 20th, that, uh, the month of September 20th, every Saturday. And um, it'll be from like, yeah, the hours of like 10 to 6. So you get to go and just promote your, your work and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and check out the website. And I'll just let you guys know. I'm trying to branch out um, Domtastic Excel, show my creativity on more than just one platform. And, you know, like, where you don't feel the attention from one place, you know, sometimes got to move around and move on somewhere else when you have a goal for yourself, you know. Just because nobody else sees your vision or your dreams or feels like, you know, you, you deserve that. Sometimes you have to get it for yourself. I just feel like I needed a mental break from the healthcare field and... I needed to do something else, you guys. Um, I like nails, and before it's too late, I just feel like I needed to give a give a dive at nails. You know, that's what I want to do. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I love. I love being able to wear my nails. Just make me, it just give me even more confidence. If I was, or if I'm down, put my nails on. You know, even if I don't have lashes or nothing else, just my hair up in a bun, my nails on just make me feel. And then the lashes just give it a little extra oomph. But you know my nails is just yeah guys but all right like i said this video is probably done now um like comment subscribe um comment you know if y'all have any questions or concerns or just any thoughts or anything about this video any you know just anything comment down below and um I want to do a sm like a small YouTuber little tag thing, you guys, too. So, I'm going to try to tag put some small YouTuber tuber tags in this video. Um, I'm trying to grab more attention, more nail channels. Anybody else that has small businesses that they're trying to promote, Etsy businesses, grab. Um, I'm trying to grab you all. So, go ahead and comment your links down below. If you want to share your Instagram and stuff like that, too comment down below i will follow you all i'll follow all the youtube accounts 
follow me obviously you know comment down below but before you comment follow my um channel as well go ahead and click that subscribe button click the notification button but definitely if you don't even definitely click the subscribe and like button comment your links whatever links you're trying to share down in the description i mean in the comment section below i would like it um now go ahead and follow your pages of whatever y'all share to me um i'll share my link in the comments every page that i want y'all to go ahead and um and it'll be in the description as well so all right you guys i hope you have a great thursday like i said i had to re-upload this video guys it was way shorter but now i done added in things and obviously it was off the top of my head so i had to remember some of the things i had to say so i'm sorry this video was overdue but it was originally 15 minutes so i recorded like six on this morning and now i had to come back and record it again but all right you guys i hope to see you guys in the next video and yeah like i said comment your links down below and if you haven't gotten your mother or anything something from mother's day go ahead and check out my website i offer everything now you guys i have a little mini boutique now so go ahead and shop um for that so for the buy one is buy two uh get one free uh so ends may 9th and the code is mama08 everything will be in the description um, below and like you said like i said you guys so you will not be confused or lost all right you guys see you guys like i said next video all right